Hey everybody, so today I want to show you how to update the default Python template node uh, to, a, to a customized one that, that you could use. I also want to show you, um, or at least talk about, uh, I'll show you this, but I'm going to talk about this as well, what the having kind of a shared location where you keep that template having that uh, somewhere in my case it's on github i'll show you why that's important and then in another video we'll actually have that because we have a standard location for our template we also can have a standard location for all of our python libraries and modules so we can create our own we can also reference other ones and then build scripts and share them amongst people and because the paths and stuff are set up uh, everything will work and so we'll look at the fuzzy wuzzy uh, library and that's what it's actually called and uh, we'll group some rooms and stuff but um, but yeah today I'm just gonna show you the template part the other video I'll show you that um, the the Python library part so the uh, the template I think is is very important because you can preset it up to be path to the things that are right have the right uh, modules and libraries and stuff imported in and so if we come click on our workspace we can type in Python we'll see Python script we click on this and then you'll see this is the default this is what you guys should see now there's a, uh, a nice little article uh, here on the Dynamo primer that tells you exactly what you need to do so nothing that I'm showing you here today is um, is new or um, uh, that special uh, this is a nice nice note here or a nice uh, starting point that you could use you could copy this uh, this Python into your into your uh, new Python template as a starting starting point so uh, and then just tweak it and, and kind of add the over time develop it and and reference the stuff you need to reference or most typically reference anyways uh, this article is here and I can share it below if you like my main point of this video is to highlight why sh uh, putting it in a shared location is important um, so to edit this I'm gonna delete that node I'm gonna close out of um, Dynamo. I'm also in Revit uh, 2023, which is Dynamo 2.13, uh, if you didn't know. Um, and so I've already got the XML file open. And to find the XML, you just got to go to this path here. So I've got my username, app data, roaming, Dynamo, Dynamo, Revit 2.13. And there's the XML file. I've got it open in Visual Studio Code. Um, you'll see it the python bit all i do is i just come in here search python you'll see down here there's python uh template uh, i removed what i had before so that i could show you kind of what it looked like uh, as it is now if we like came in here and messed with some of this or didn't have the right formatting so i'm going to save this come back over here open up dynamo it's going to reset everything so you'll see that over here as well. So everything is reset. I lost all my recents. Uh, then also any other settings that I had. I'm going to close that. Come back over here. I'm going to do control Z. To bring all that back. Um, so that's why I like to just have the, the XML file open. I don't know if you open it in other editors, if it's going to let you do that, like see it change in real time. Like I didn't have to reopen the XML. It kept it open and then it's just reading it live. So um, I don't know if other editors uh, do that, but I have v Visual Studio Code. I'm mentioning this because if you uh, accidentally uh, just put the wrong stuff in there, it could mess it up. Um, so when we update and add the path if we mess some stuff up um, if we forget to add um, a space or something it could throw it could rewrite and it will set it back to the default um, 
So just it, heads up if you don't want to lose any of your settings or any of that. Have uh, have it open so that you can go back or save an old copy of it of the XML. Anyways, uh, it's pretty easy. So here's the the path. Uh, that I have and you can see it's pointed to my github folder this is a, a template that you guys can have as well so I'm gonna come here and I think this is better than like storing the Python script with the like version of Dynamo um, like with the XML file so I'm gonna take that replace it with this you'll see the path um, and then I'm just going to save that, come back over here to Dynamo, we'll do new, we'll do Python, it'll take a minute, I, I don't know why, I think it's trying to figure out where it's at and stuff, but here it is, you can see um, I've got some Dynamo core assemblies up there, um, some other information of where uh, this stuff is at, uh, and then some default stuff. Um, a lot of these I will actually just remove, or if I'm using specific libraries um, or modules from them, I will, I'll, I will just write them in like this. You'll see import vector and uh, line. If I was working with some uh, Dynamo points, I would do point, um, and so on. So there's asterisks there, but keep that in mind that um, that you may want to uh, pull in, you may want to pull in the modules you're actually using, using and not all of them. <clears throat> so anyways, there's that. Um, and then what's cool is now, if you have that in a shared location, you can easily update that XML file. You can push that setting to all your users. And then if you have that Dynamo um, or that Python node in a shared location, what you can do is in here, I'm going to add this piece. I'm going to pull that back over. I've saved it and then now if we open up Dynamo, so I've, I edited the original Python template um, that we're path to. So now if I open a new script or just a, the work, work workspace and then place another Python node, if we edit that you'll see the newly added text that I put in there. So uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't. Also, uh, I'm pretty active on LinkedIn as well, so there's the um, path for that. So I'm gonna save this, and then um, you can actually, you can get to all of this on my GitHub. I'm going to uh, commit, push that up. And then real quick, I'll show you guys where you can get that. So you can download this and use it however way you want. Um, I really, um, I don't care. Um, but in my repos, you'll find this one. And then there's a lib folder. And in here, this is actually where I have all my Python's path to. Um, or sorry, all my Dynamo's path to. So... Python template and then you'll see that I've published that um, that new update so you can download this use it um, for personal use it's e easy to manage this but I think this is really important when you have a a firm using uh, your scripts and you're using a lot of Python then you'll want to standardize that to some some extent and by having a Python node uh, preset up then you know at least you and anybody else using Python um, is going to be using the right stuff. Uh, and I, most importantly, the right stuff would be things like if you're importing your own Python libraries. So that you can see here, what I've got is I've got a virtual environment called Dynamo 2022, and then I've got stuff padded to it. And I also have uh, this here, which is path to that same GitHub and that same repo. And then I've got a Python module folder that contains a bunch of Python stuff. 
uh, and I can import that in and reference it. So when I was talking about fuzzy wuzzy using that library, what you can have is your own, say, Python library on your server, and then in there you can import um, or install the packages or libraries that you use that are Python, put them in there, and then also add your custom stuff to it as well. And it's just an easy way to then uh, know that if you're developing anything with this Python script and referencing anything from there, that all your end users are going to have that as well because they're going to be path to that same location on your server. It's a sh as long as there's a shared location everybody can get to, um, you can have that set up. And so that means you can use all sorts of new uh, Python um, modules and stuff and um, share them with people easily and um and so in the next video i'll show you guys how to how to do that we'll create a, a python module we'll add the path and then we'll add the fuzzy wuzzy want uh stuff and then we'll group some some room names uh and then we'll see the output of that and it's very easy to do but uh yeah that's all i got so hopefully this was helpful and we'll see you in the next video thank you